that has gone through an evolution similar to what happened in the 80s right in the Yankees' own backyard when Mike Francesa and Christopher Mad Dog Russo set the industry standard for sports talk radio. We had the pleasure of simulcasting their program for quite a while before they went their separate ways. And right now, Doggy joins Michael Kay. Well, thanks a lot. I am here with Christopher Russo uh, at 1.1 1 .1 half of Mike and the Mad Dog. And uh, Chris, I, I know it doesn't seem like um, 20 years, but this is the 20th anniversary of the beginning of Yes. And the reason I bring that up is that you and, and Mike Francesa were a big part of it. And I just wanted to run this by you. When you found out that your show was going to be simulcast, what did you think? Well, I think we kind of needed a little pick-me-up. Remember, we had done about 13 years prior to Yes, and it was a little something different. Plus, they were going to pay us. You know, as my old <laughs> boss said, I'm the only guy in America who got paid for doing the same show twice. So from that standpoint, it was a, it was a plus. But, you know, it was a, a little intrusive. You had to get used to it. Cameras in the studio. You can't go in here and have your lunch. Remember, we were on at one o'clock, so you had to make sure you, you know, whether you ate your lunch earlier, later. You couldn't do it during a break because the camera always rolled. So it was a, it was a, it was a little different feel to it. And don't forget, Mike and I always used to have our little fisticuffs and our little battles. So if you were a key listener or watcher, you could tell when Mike and I weren't getting along because we wouldn't talk during the breaks. So from that standpoint, you could pick up on that. Uh, but I'll tell you one thing about yes, never, Philip Pelle and the guys, one time they brought me, I had lunch with John breakfast at the Greenwich Country Club because one of the guys from Atlanta came up and he just wanted to make sure I wasn't getting too rough with the Yankees. And you know me, I'm not a huge Yankee fan. That's the only time in all the years that I was on, yes, six years, that they ever say anything to me about just, you know, let's take it easy and not going crazy. So give yes credit for that all those years ago. Now, I don't know if you've heard this part of the story, Chris, but when they were putting together the network, they needed programming, and it was George Steinbrenner who came up to Flip and said, how about those two guys on the radio? Did you know it was George? Uh, I, I I had heard whispers about that. Flip had always told me that. Um, you know, George liked this. Is that true, by the way? Is that an accurate story? That yes. is true, huh? Yeah. Um, so if you got the big guy behind your back, you're, uh, if the big guy has your back, you're in pretty good shape. We, we enjoyed Yes. Yes did a very good job. Uh, we went to the studios one time in Stanford to do a couple of shows up there, too, that I recall. Flip never had, you know, again, the one time, and I don't even, it was Flip's call, never had a problem with me. And, you know, Mike used to love to run out of the studio. So somebody had to be in the studio when we came in and out of the breaks, returning, because you can't have an empty studio when you came out of the breaks. So the yes people always used to say, where is Mike for crying out loud? We need the both of you in there with the two cameras. So I can tell you all sorts of stories about that scenario. I used to have my big... A ham and cheese on mayonnaise on a roll. I couldn't eat it in the studio. I look like a slob. So I had to go run outside during the commercial breaks to get bites of my sandwich if it was late in the afternoon, if I was eating, say, at 1.30 that day. But always very good to us. One on the road, we never, Mike on the road and they would bring this little camera so if we were at a press box i remember the yankee marlins world series when we were at the old joe robbie stadium there which has now been refurbished but they had that little camera it was almost like a tootsie roll that they put outside the window frame to do the two of us with the talk show they did a lot of stuff to get us on the air on a day in day out basis and they went to all the remotes um super bowls I, they probably went to the suit. I'd have to go back yeah, and look. They, they went did. to the Super Bowls, too. Yep. They did a heck of a job. They were very good to me and Mike. Never a problem. I loved Yes. You know that. I've told you that before. I loved Yes. What they did. Now, when it, 